Hey everyone, Spot of Nerd here. I figured this episode slash podcast, however you're listening to it or watching it, you deserved to see my beautiful face because you'll notice behind me on the TV, I want to give, I genuinely want to give a huge shout out to something that I should have been using a long time ago, and that is Rumble, the service Rumble, which officially now is a real competitor to YouTube. And quite frankly, it is fucking awesome. Now, if you have followed me on Instagram or so on and so forth, you'll know recently we've been kind of posting a lot about being shadow banned or banned, had your content removed, censorship, and the fact that it is completely real. It is a real thing. Um, it's a joke, but it's also not a joke in the fact that when it comes to social media, you didn't need fact checkers until the truth finally started coming out. And it's amazing because I, it's, it's really, I laugh at it because again, I'm better than that, but I'm also, it's really sad the way to give you an example. I mean, I, I'm not even joking. I probably get a death threat once a day, if not multiple times a day, definitely a couple a week just because of having a different viewpoint or simply telling you the facts, simply telling you the truth. It's, it's kind of a crazy concept that people don't like that. Um, imagine trying to tell somebody that the sun doesn't shine and them wishing you death because the sun shines. It's, we've reached that level in humanity that is quite astounding to to really get down deep at it so I I just again I want to be really grateful actually because of not only my own growth but also growth in this channel spot of nerd because we are only going to expand from here Again, you'll notice, literally look at the view counts. If you go on my YouTube channel, they, the view counts, I mean, I'm a very amateur, I guess, spokesperson, personality, whatever you want to call it. But you can see the difference. Just one of my podcasts this week that I released maybe 48 hours ago has nearly 100 views. On Rumble, on YouTube, the same exact episode released at the same time, one view. And it really does count. It comes down to the content. It really is. I, I, I used to, I mean, I believed it because I've seen it. But now experiencing it kind of really for the first time. I mean, sure, I've probably experienced it before, but I'm, this is where I'm finally starting to pay attention. So if I'm kind of bouncing around a little bit, you'll have to forgive me because I'm trying to really get out the fact of this is actually really pretty badass because, again, we're we're in a very scary time in the world in in the way society and life is right now. I've said this many times, and yes, this is my broken record moment, moments, plural. It's, you, you gotta wake up. You have to wake up to what is really going on right now. Just yesterday, for the first time in United States history, a president was arrested. And if you did your research, if you looked, even CNN was bashing it and not realizing there's nothing here. You have absolutely nothing. This is nothing but political theater. But the scary part about it is, is they are still doing it. Which means if they can do it to a president, 
they can do it to anybody and who knows lord can i god only knows what is going to happen in the future with all this but we have to i've always said my biggest idol my biggest the legend himself steven crowder louder with crowder you have to expand you have to create other ways of getting your content out there and rumble is that way amongst a few others but i really i think that's where i'm going to just kind of hone in right now i'm going to really hone in on the the rumble aspect because people seem to pay attention people seem to care it's a place where i'm not banned i'm not shadow banned so on and so forth and it's only going to get better you know i know i will speak personally rumble is not the best in terms of its um its app you know, maybe the website could definitely use a little bit of work, but they're getting there. It's a $2 billion company now, which started from the ground up. It's it's amazing. And the best part about it is, is they want everybody there for free speech. They don't block you. They don't censure you. Um, you know, their guidelines are pretty straightforward. As long as you're not a dick who wants to kill people, have at it. So really excited to be... Again, just I'm going to start uploading a lot more of the older content just to see where that goes. Um, bear with me. Give me some time to get that up on Rumble. And we'll kind of, I guess we'll just kind of go from there. But um, yeah, I'm just, again, I wanted to get this video out to really share my excitement and my passion behind it. Um, you know, it's going to be awesome going forward from here. So my last... Thing I wanted to quickly chat about before I wrap up this episode because it really is I mean it's a different story but it's tying into what we're talking about you know when it comes to the truth and the facts and specifically I found out today that San Diego Comic-Con 2023 which yours truly will be attending uh, I said I might not go again, but uh, this I will be going this year to 2023. Um, going to be going with a different cr group of people, so it should be quite interesting. And the TV just went to a different thing, so yeah. But anyway, um, today they officially announced at San Diego Comic-Con that they will not require a vaccine. They will not require a negative COVID test. They will not require masks. Holy shit, they're gonna allow us to live our lives the way we should. And the reason I'm bringing that up is because let's just hypothetically say allegedly that there's some conversation online that I've been involved with. Um, and I'm not one to troll. I really am not. I think it's it's... Trying to argue with a complete stranger online is like picking your own asshole. You know, once you start biting your teeth, you're going to probably taste some shit. So where I'm going with it is, you know, I, I made a comment, shall we say, about it's going to be really nice to finally enjoy the convention. And I genuinely mean that. I really do. Even from the start of the pandemic, I've always said, you do you, I'll do me everything will be fine. And it wasn't until people started getting in my face and or government mandates started to occur that really had you start questioning things, specifically myself and a millions upon millions of other people around the world. So this got some people upset. And it is just, I, I laugh. I laugh so much now when I see this stuff because... Before, I would take it. Per I would. I mean, I don't know. I would take it personally. I'm not like, oh my god, I'm going to lose sleep over it. But I would always feel like I had to respond to this stuff. And, you know, it's kind of ironic that I'm responding to it. But you kind of know where I'm going with this. Because I don't need to respond to these comments. I don't need to respond to these people that are literally spewing hatred like you you would never believe. It's It's astounding. Uh, the level of hate and death threats that I received because I simply made a comment that will finally get to enjoy the convention the way it's meant to be. And it was even funny because one of the comments, 
it, comments are hilarious. It doesn't matter what it is online, a meme, an article, whatever it might be. I kid you not, one of the comments said, is it crazy that we're, you know, isn't it crazy that we're still living in a pandemic where millions of people are dying? And I, and I'm just thinking to myself, well, the pandemic is over. It's even officially over by government standard. Even on a worldview, it's over. And I don't really know where anybody else still actually believes we're still, oh, yeah, silly me. There are people that still think there's a pandemic going on right now, even though it has officially, by the United States government, ended. Now, I want to make it very, very clear. I have no issue with people that get vaccinated. I have no issue with people that want to wear a mask. But it's not... It, it, COVID-19, it's, it's over. We know so much more about it now than ever before. And yes, is it a concern? Absolutely. I would never degrade that. But to say that we are still in a pandemic, that, that kind of worries me. And it's one of those things I will genuinely pray for you because I would really hope and I would, I, I would ask anybody listening and watching this to just do some research. There are, there are, there is a plethora of data out there right now that will tell you, sure, yes, COVID-19 is a serious thing to look out for, but there's also so much more now that we know about it that you can go on and live your life without fear of just whatever the TV is telling you or Twitter or social media in general, whatever it's telling you you are allowed to do and go about your business the way it was. I know it's hard to do right now, but I promise you, you can go and do it. Nobody's going to stop you. As long as you're respectful and a decent human being, live your life. Live the best life that you possibly can. I want you to do it. I encourage you to do it. Because for the first time in a very long time in July... 2023, we will be in San Diego at San Diego Comic-Con the way that that convention is meant to be. Everybody enjoying the hell out of it without any issue. And again, if it's one of those things, if you need to wear a mask, wear that mask. If you need to be vaccinated, get that vaccine. But all of us, we don't, we don't need all of that. We don't need to, we don't need to do that because we've moved on and we're living our lives now. And I would just, from Spot of Nerd, I would pass along. I, I hope you will too. I really, really do. Thank you all so much for watching and listening. Hit the good old subscribe, the follow, the like, the comments. Share me everywhere you can. We're on Spotify. That's where you're going to, that's where you can hear all episodes. We're on Apple Podcasts, which I think if you heard before, some of the earlier ones got cut off, but all the new stuff is there. Google Podcasts, some other places, but Spotify really is kind of the main one podcast wise. We're going to be on YouTube, but Rumble, Rumble, Rumble is where it is at because that is where the future lies, especially for people like me who just want to live our lives and frankly are just we're not going to be quiet anymore we're going to be respectful we're going to be passionate but at the same time we are not going to sit on our hands anymore and be told to go die for something that is simply a truth or a fact not anymore with that said again thank you all so much and we will see you all next time later y'all